to bring you some really deep, deep stretches. I have a lot of requests from people. They are either runners or any kind of athletes, cyclists, bikers, or people that just hit the gym really hard and they need that few times a week. Deep stretches, deep release of the uh, connective tissue, the fascia, and that's what I want to address today. So I'm assuming you had some kind of a warm-up or some kind of a, any kind of sports you did and then come to this point where you need a really deep release, a deep stretch. It's not going to be quite yin yoga where you hold it for many, many minutes. You could do that, but I'm time consuming wise. I want to keep it like to maybe a minute or maybe a couple really, really deep breath holding it. We will see how far we're going to get. Okay, what you need is definitely one block. Better is two because we're going to relax in the very end using the blocks. What I have here too is called um, three minute yoga eggs. They're very um, aerodynamic, you know, for your body. They really, the contours are really forming to your body. So I'm going to use some of this and maybe some of the regular yoga blocks. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start in a seated position. We're going to bring one leg in and the other one right in front of the other. So we're not interlacing, we're just kind of stacking the legs next to each other. Now we're going to sit up nice and tall. If you want to, you can sit on a block or roll up your mat if you feel like you're slouching. Tucking the belly in, tucking your chin slightly in. Let's take three deep breaths into your nose and out to your nose. And then we're just going to start with a circular motion, stretching and warming up the spine and also, you know, letting the hips relax. A few times in each direction will do. And then we're going to inhale the arms up. And cactus, spread the fingers, palm facing forward, lifting that spine bringing the shoulder blades together, feeling your elbows coming down towards your waist. Let's do that two more times. Inhale. Big breath to the nose. Long, easy, steady. Exhale. One more. Then we bring the right hand to the right and stretch the arm over. And inhale, center, exhale, other side. You may move the torso here, bringing the chest towards the ceiling, slightly looking up. And then back to center. Let's walk forward. Here it's really important that you do not lean off your seat. You want to keep your sits bone plucked in, bringing your arms straight forward or using a block, setting your forehead. You can tilt the block onto the bottom edge, setting your forehead onto the block, takes the pressure of holding your upper body up and relaxes. Let's take five breaths. And my right leg is forward, so therefore I'm going to feel that in my right glute, in my right outer hip. Breathing long and deep. Last inhale, exhale. And 
and removing the block, then in coming all the way up. Now we're going to switch sides, bringing the right leg in, stacking the left foot, left floor leg, right in front. This time we sit up tall again, but we interlace our hands and bring it right in the base of our head, our skull here. Open the arms like wings, lift the spine and the chest, lifting really with the sternum as we inhale. And then as you exhale, try to arch the thoracic spine. Open the chest really deep, waiting for the exhaling, tucking the chin, bringing the elbows towards each other, belly in and around. Again, inhale. Open, leading with your chest, feeling the stretch of your shoulder blades, looking up, letting your head relax into your open hands, and exhale, comes, tuck the belly, start rounding, elbows towards each other. One more time. And then lifting that spine tall, release and come forward again. So you may use the block again, tilt it and rest your forehead on it. If you're really flexible, you can of course come all the way down. Tailor the yoga practice to your own needs. Whatever your body needs, well, how far your body can go, but play it safe and breathe. That's the main key. Having fun, breathing, and your body will do the rest. Two more breaths. Release the block, coming all the way back up. Have your block handy. You will need one or two. And like I said, I switch it out between the eggs. Let's come on to your hands and knees. And we're going to do two cat cows. Cat cow is just one of those really important ones to lengthen and stretch in the spine. So we have the hands and the arms shoulder width apart. The legs are hip width apart. Belly is in. Inhale, lengthen with your chest. Draw your shoulders back. Look forward, wait for your exhale, tuck your hips, draw the belly in, press the floor away, arms stay straight, and the last thing is tuck your chin in. Inhale again, lengthen, look forward, exhale. And inhale into a neutral spine. From here, we're going to bring the right leg forward. And we're going to have our hands in the inside. So from here, you're going to lengthen. But we're going to do that easy. My yoga is accessible for everybody. The novice, the advanced person, the person who has never done yoga, the older person the younger person, it doesn't matter. So we're going to rock it slowly. We're going to make a couple circles to really open up the hip. And often I use my hand to guide it along. And my body will tell me when it's ready to open up, when it just feels snug. It just feels right to come in. I can also walk my right leg out partially off the mat. And a little rocking again, back and forth, breathing. You can use your block now, high or horizontal or all the way flat. Get a deeper stretch, open the chest, and relax the back foot down. And then you have options here. You can bring your arms up. You can open them into a half cactus here. Whatever it needs to do, take last place for you to really open up. And then I'll take a few deep breaths. To let my left hip flexor, my psoas muscle release. And as I'm kneeling here on my left knee, 
I'm on top of the knee where it starts right here, the quads. There's a little cushion fatty part we all have, and that's like a little cushion so it will not hurt your knee. If you have knee issues, use one of those garden pads or a blanket and lay it right under your knee. Good. From here, I'm going to face forward, both hands are inside, and I'm going to come on my block, either this way or flat with my forearms onto the block. And then bending my right knee deeper, flex my foot so I'm on the pinky toe side of my right leg. And then I'm looking straight forward, you can move your head and yes and you no, know, whatever really, you know, feels good to release any tension you might feel. And we're going to stay here, we're going to breathe for at least a minute. Just let that breath flow. Holding the stretches longer is a good way to close your eyes. Just let it be. Let that breath just naturally flow in and out of your body. And you don't have to be 100% still. You see how I'm rocking a little deeper here into the pose. Try to relax my shoulders because I don't want to create any unnecessary tension. Belly is slightly drawn in. But I'm bringing also intention, my intention inward and notice how my body is responding, how my body is reacting to this. When we hold a pose longer than 30 seconds, we go deeper, we're releasing more of the connective tissue, the fascia. Deeper stretching will take place, flexibility will be built. Three more breaths. And if you do not need the block, you can be on your forearms. And then we're going to walk up. And this leg now, this hips is already more open. So I'm walking my leg in towards my left hand and I'm bringing my right arm to the outside. I'm going to prepare for pigeon, but again, we're going to take it easy. So we come again onto the pinky toe side of that right leg and we're going to rock it a few times just to prepare our hip and prepare our leg to come down. And eventually you might have to readjust. So now I'm going to lay that knee as close as possible to the outer edge of my mat and to my right hand. I'm opening my left knee more out, so I have more accessibility here. And then rocking again slightly into the pose. Options, block or a three minute ache under your bum if you feel really tight, because we want to get away from tightness. So when we hold on, because we can't get into a pose, we create more tension and we can't let go. So therefore, we use some props. And then eventually from here, I'm going to use blocks again to demonstrate that. I can lay my forearms onto them. Now I'm ready to straighten my back leg, walk it in, straighten it, and I'm coming deeper. This is my tighter side. So again, I rock. I swivel here from side to side so it feels comfortable. And then again, you may come all the way down. I sometimes can. Most of the time I cannot. I'm tight from all the other sports I have been doing. More on that later on. But I try. And I do feel that. I do feel that right here in my outer hip and in my glute. We're going to stay here for about a good 45 more seconds. And breathe. Letting go on the exhale is the key. You notice the body giving. And you don't have to stay with your forearms on the block. You can come onto the mat. Work with your flexibility. 15 seconds. 
You also can stay longer. Pause the video and stay longer. Maybe you have days where you need more, where you need to really turn that into a yin yoga. But I want to show you a couple extra poses today. And like I said, because of time, we go around a minute. And slowly come back up. Move your blocks. And for me, it's the best way for me to go into a down dog. So, spread your fingers, palms are flat, they shoulder width apart, curl the back toes under, and then belly in and bring that right leg back and set it for you. Down dog. Walk it, whatever it takes to open up the body here. You can pause on one side and on the other. Often I like to just look under my arm and turn my torso, walk my legs together, turn the outer shoulders under, lengthen my hamstrings, lift my toes and flex, spread those toes and then exhale onto my knee and we're gonna repeat that same thing onto the other side. So now left leg comes forward, both arms come in, and I'm starting to rock. Back and forth, round, maybe using the block here for my hand, moving the thigh away, pressing a little into that upper thigh, Walk the left foot more out. Lift my chest up, roll the shoulders onto the back. Lift the arm up. And then maybe a half cactus or just stretching the arm, go behind me. All this helps to open the hips, the lower back, the groin. And this one is, we, I can't stress that often enough. That's what we all need. Rather, we, we are an athlete or whether we are seated in our jobs, in our lives, we need those stretches more than anything else. Good, and then coming all the way down. This is more my flexible side. I might can come all the way down, but I want to show you again. Maybe starting here with straight arms or coming down onto your forearms. Walk that leg more out. Get a deep stretch and let's start holding it for a whole minute. Close your eyes here. Let that breath flow in and out. Use that as a relaxation time to pamper your body. Deep, deep breathing, but easy breathing. You also will notice that as you're doing the second side, your body gives more. It's easier for you to access the other side. And about 30 more seconds. Maybe going a little deeper for the last 15. And then very slowly coming onto your hands. And we're doing that same thing again that we're walking the left foot over to the right hand, staying on the pinky toe side and ease our way in. There's a couple rocking here until that leg fits and goes easily to the floor. So now another word here, you do not have necessarily that lower leg parallel, that would be ideal, but not everybody has the flexibility to do so, so do what you can. So a little trick again, turning that um, other leg to the inside of your knee, and then rock it here a few times. So the hip will open, the bends in the lower back will give. 
And then you want to have your blocks handy if you need them. You can also bring your blocks closer and do this here, just letting the body open. And this easily can start your process here of holding it. You don't have to come all the way down. So I feel like ready now, straightening that right leg out. Like I said, this is my more flexible side. And again, you may bring a block under the opposite side. I don't actually need the blocks here. Coming all the way down under my hands, links in that spine. Deep breathing, our time is starting now, and then we can slowly walk it forward. If you can't come down, like you feel like you want to relax, you can use a block and lay it under your chest, and then again, use another block here, tilting it and resting your forehead. Those are all options you have. Breathing deep, especially into the tightness of your left hip. About 30 seconds. Feel free to pause if you want to stay longer. And then slowly from here, coming back up, move your blocks, set your hands up, shoulder width apart, or downward facing dog, curl the toes under, step it all the way back, walk that dog here for a few breaths, roll on top of your toes, and roll it back towards the heels, lift and spread those toes up, whether your heels reach all the way down or not, that doesn't really matter. You want to feel that in your hamstrings and in your lower back and then tucking your outer shoulders under, letting your head relax, shake it a yes and a no. One more breath. And then exhale down onto your knees. Good. From here, we're going to do a little twisting. We bring that left leg in. Right leg either stays right in the front and you're hugging it in order to lift your spine or you're bringing it across. Word of advice, when you bring it across, you don't want to be here on the side like that. You want to be down with the flat foot completely pressing it down. And then use the leverage here to lift your spine nice and tall. That could be step number two. Step number three, Bringing your right hand behind you, maybe word of um, thumb, whatever you want to say, your thumb should be by the tailbone, and then walk your arm in, press down, lift that spine, hugging that knee, that leg into the chest. So the more you press it in, the more you're going to feel a stretch right here. Work with what you got, where you are in the pose, and then press into that right foot, inhale in the center. Exhale, start twisting deeper and deeper. And you may need a few breaths in and out to your nose until you're all the way where you need to be. And then looking over your right shoulder, take one more complete breath. And then slowly release and release and switch sides. So right leg goes in. Left leg either in the front, lifting that spine, bringing the leg com comfortable between armpit and chest, or bring it all the way across. You see how I press it in, hug it, lengthen, bring the other arm behind me, and then relax the shoulder onto the back. You can also bring your arm up and bring it across and ankle it for more opening for more twisting. Tall spine, never twist from a rounded back. One more breath when you're in the end and press into your foot. Twisting is health for the spine. And then slowly unwind, coming all the way 
around it. Good. From here, I would like to address some kneeling so we can learn how to stretch the quads. I'm going to get some more blocks from here. I'm going to show you guys how I do that. If you're really tight and you can't sit comfortable like that, you can take two blocks, one block, three blocks, some phone books, some old encyclopedias, whatever, and bring it right in between your ankles. Stack it. You might be here. Like I said, you might have more. And then I want you to sit down on the edge. Tall spine. Belly goes in. And then you just let your head relax. You can do a couple arm openings here. Matter of fact, we can actually do some eagle arms. But just open, bringing the right elbow under the left. Lining them up or hold on the thumb or lining up our palms. Bring your shoulder width apart and then the forearms away. Take a few breaths here. Feel that stretch in the shoulder. Feels really good. Breathe. And the whole time you're doing that, you take your mind actually off if you're sitting and stretching your quads. And then release, open, and repeat that to the other side for a couple breaths. And release. Good. So in the meantime, we walk. Now you can go ahead as that feels comfortable to remove one rock, right? Sitting a little bit lower already, getting that stretch. And for some of you, it might take some time. You might take days, weeks, months, just getting the habit of sitting like that, watching TV, reading a book, whatever you do. If you never used to that, <clears throat> excuse me, start that habit early to get the stretch. And then eventually you can come all the way and just sit in here with your legs, with your feet together like that. But never do this, never slouch. So spine nice and tall, relax your shoulders in. And just sit here for as long as it feels good. Now again, we're going to go a little bit deeper. So I'm going to show you how you can build a deeper pose. So you're bringing your right leg forward and your left leg goes under. So you're sitting with both sits bones on the floor, trying to line up your knees. Think about here are your hips, and you want to line up the knees. So you don't want to have that up, or you don't want to have that out like that. You want to line this up, and your left foot is right next to your upper thigh and glute. So that could be here, step number one. Just getting used to it, getting the stretch in the left quadriceps. So now that right leg, you don't want to just let it and, and slouch like that. Spine tall and you want to engage it. So when you engage it, you're bringing your toes back and you're flexing your knee a little, but don't hyperextend it so the back of the right leg is on the mat. And we can sit here now and take a couple deep breaths for a minute, two or three minutes. Step, next step could be just coming slightly back. The more you lean back, the harder that will be, the deeper the stretch will be. <clears throat> and I built my poses. I do that slow. Especially as we get older, we don't want to just, you know, plop here into a pose and it hurt ourselves. Build it slow and you will get there and you will get the same benefits. And then eventually coming onto your forearms, once you lift off, you have gone too far. So you want to comfortably have that leg down. Close your eyes. Just breathe deep. And I'm going to try, if you have the flexibility, coming all the way down. So you're feeling your shoulders touching. You can let your arms go to the side. And then stay here for a couple minutes and breathe through the tightness you're going to feel in the quads. I'm going to take one more complete deep breath.
And then slowly the way I got down, I'm going to get up, come on my forearms, walk up, belly is in onto my palms, and then I release, bring the leg forward and shake it out. I'm going to repeat this to the other side. So right knee bends. And I have an injury, so I can't bring it all the way in. I have a metal blade in here in this right foot. But yoga helped me a lot. I couldn't do that for many, many years. So it's getting better and better as I stretch. So here again, set it up where you feel comfortable. Deep breathing. Just let it be. One stress out over it. Come as low as you can. Maybe next time it will be deeper. Another option here would be to use either a block or the eggs. I'm going to have the blocks handy here. And lay it under the middle of your upper spine. And then put the other block right under the back, there you go, of your neck. And try to relax this way. If this is not accessible, to go all the way flat onto your back. Couple more breaths. And very slowly lift your head, tuck your chin, belly in, lift yourself up, move the blocks, and bring the right leg forward, shake it all the way out. So now I'm going to open up the groin, I'm going to turn around, so you guys see me from the front, and we're going to open and straddle our legs. So a lot of people, and I see this a lot in the classes I teach, have even a hard time to really open up wide, so we're starting up slow. Again, either if you have an egg, look at this, you can just literally sit on the edges of those eggs and be elevated of some kind, right? Or you're rolling up a mat or a blanket to do this. You can also bring them slightly under your knees if your hamstrings are really tight. Important is that your spine is nice and tall, okay? And then we're going to start building this pose from here. And I like to first turn with a straight spine to the right, lift and rock it a few times back and forth to lengthen under my hamstrings. And then I go through the center, rock it a few times and over to the left. And you can do this as many times as you want to. You notice as the body gives, and as the body gives as you're doing that, you can often lift and come more forward and slowly open that a little more. Now option here again, going to the side, either take a block of some form and bring it in the inside. You can rest your forearm here. You can do this deal here, bring the other hand behind you, or you can slide your finger under your Achilles to get some leverage here and then leaning to the right side. So left arm goes behind my sacrum and I'm spiraling my chest with a long spine to the side, keeping the opposite leg planted down. So go up to the ceiling and then here again I can stay here for a couple minutes and letting the left side of my body open. Feeling the lower back, the glute, the hip, and really, really breathe and let that body open. Once you feel you're ready, you may bring that arm up and you bring it across. I'm not the most super flexible person that I can bring my, my hand to the opposite leg, but just by bringing that arm overhead like this, I feel a more intense stretch. And in other words, don't come forward, open that chest, leaning into it. A couple more breaths. And again, you may pause the video and you stay longer.
One more inhale, exhale. Then bringing the top arm up and down. Slowly bring that torso straight. The last thing is your head work straightens. And then you can roll your shoulders a few times. And now you're ready to repeat this to the other side. Arm behind, lengthening that spine. Roll a lower chest forward, right shoulder back. You see how I prep myself before I really go into the belly is in. Setting up my right arm. Look up to the ceiling. You can also look down. Maybe close your eyes. And breathe. Keep that right leg pressed down, keep the right foot engaged. Let it happen. Resist holding on here, breathing. Then you may bring that arm up and across. Two more breaths. And then bring the arm up, slowly slide again to the center. Last things you want to straighten that. The neck, because you don't want more tension, you may rotate that neck a few times in a circular motion just to get any tension out. So now, bring your hands under your knees, lift it up and bring the soles of your feet together. We're going to start out a little further away today, forming a diamond. You're looking at your inner thighs. Have a block handy, options here, bringing the block maybe in between, that makes the stretch more, to release the hips. You can also bring your feet on top of the block, again, to intensify the opening and then enclosing your toes and just letting that spine come forward and you may even use a block again here for your forehead. Let's stay here for a good minute. Breathing deep, about 30 more seconds. And then slowly straighten that spine. Coming down, moving the blocks out of the way. And I'm going to turn to the other side again. Straighten out your legs, shake them out. Good. From here, we're going to do a seated forward fold. Really, really important. Stretch the hamstring, release the lower back, middle and even upper back and shoulder area. A lot of people have problems with the thoracic spine, the flexibility isn't there, but we do what we can and we're going to do it slow. You have options here too by um, maybe just bringing your legs together, being on your heel, starting with bent legs as much as you want to, and then just bringing your face towards your knees. And then as the body gives, you're sitting a little bit more back, Come a little lower and a little lower each time. Or you start out this way and fold forward. Try to keep that spine long and try not to round right away. We're going to be here for at least a minute. Now the option is again using a block, tilting it onto your forehead and breathe. As the body gives, changing up the block, 
changing up the arm position. This pose is very nourishing for the central nervous system as well, and anxiety and stress. It's a good practice what we're doing also today before bedtime. Anytime you feel tight, stressed, overworked, or just want to have a deep stretch once, twice, three times a week to accompany any of your activities you do. And then eventually maybe you want to remove the bra completely and lengthen and come all the way down. Let's take three more breaths. And slowly release, push yourself all the way up. Circle your shoulders a few times. And I like to do one last stretch, and that's a lane side twist. Moving all this stuff out of the way, but maybe keeping what not handy. Just come all the way onto your back, hug your knees here into your chest, open, press, release, press, release. Press, release, let's come here briefly into happy baby pose to open the hips, the groins even more. Rock from side to side. And then bringing your knees back together again. Let's keep your left knee in, straighten up your right leg. All the way down, engage that right leg, so you're feeling the stretchy again. Quads, um, hip flexors, and then bringing that left knee between left shoulder and left chest, press it in. And then we're going to bring it over. So I'm taking my right hand under the outside of the knee, relax my bottom leg, come all the way over. So you have options here now again with the block. Either on the lower leg or on the knee, wherever you feel like you need it. And then maybe using your hand to help this stay in place. Now lengthen that spine and use your hands to get deeper into some of the stretches by pressing on certain points to release. You can also take, oops, the block. Bring it with you over to the left and lay your forearm on it. And then the last thing what I want you to think about is bringing at least the forearm, the elbow, the tricep to the mat or to the floor and then releasing your head over the other side towards the left shoulder, the opposite shoulder. Sometimes the shoulder doesn't go all the way down if the leg goes all the way down. Again, you want to stay here for a couple of minutes or a couple, at least 10 breaths. And then slowly bringing the knee in, coming to the center. And let's repeat this to the other side, loosening the left leg out, bringing the right leg in between chest and shoulder. Rest it a few times, rotate it, make it feel really, really loose, breathe deep into it, and then use your left hand coming all the way over, relax the bottom leg. I'm going to show you this on this side, so you can lay this on your forearm, or just hold it, but ideally would be having the palm and the forearm down. And then eventually the shoulder will get, and then looking over your right shoulder. You're going to feel that stretch here. You can also bring that knee deeper into the chest. And stay here and breathe. Close your eyes.
and slowly coming back to center. Hug your knees in, squeeze yourself really tight. We're gonna walk up and before we close, I wanna thank you for watching my channel, watching my videos. You can add this video on to any of the other videos I have or do it standalone. Like it, subscribe to my channel or dislike it. Leave some comments on what you want to see next. And again, this is Ursula with Easy Do Yoga, but we're not done yet. So we're going to set up for some nice stretch. So either two blocks or the eggs, either way, I'm going to try this way. So you want to bring that into your lower back, middle, middle, middle back, lower back, shoulder blades. And then the second block, I want you to bring it right under your head again. Make it comfortable. And you can either stay here, you can straighten the legs out completely and open up the chest here in Shavasana. Or bring the soles of your feet together. And stay here as long as you feel like it, as long as it feels good. Breathing really deep. Thank you for watching my video. Namaste.